In this video, I want to talk about why I prefer using citrulline malate over arginine for both boosting nitric oxide levels and increasing energy during workouts. Now bear with me, Jim Army members who've heard me talk about right. this over and over, but with so many new Jim Army members, the question is being asked a lot lately, so I want to sum it up. But first, we need to take a moment of science. Now, how does nitric oxide get produced in the body? The main, the main pathway is through arginine. In the blood vessels, arginine is readily converted to nitric oxide with the help of the enzyme nitric oxide synthase. So it would seem to make perfect sense to supplement with arginine to boost your nitric oxide levels. And remember, nitric oxide relaxes blood vessels. That relaxation widens the blood vessels, making them wider so that more blood can flow through. That means when you're exercising, you're getting more blood. That means more oxygen more fluid, hence the pump, more nutrients, more anabolic hormones, and all that blood flow going to the muscle also enhances blood flow away from the muscle, meaning after the workout, you have enhanced recovery because more waste products are being taken away from the muscle. However, arginine is poorly absorbed by the body. That's why pre-workouts always used to tell you, take it on an empty stomach because arginine gets competition from so many other nutrients that if you eat anything or take any other aminos, you're not going to absorb it. That's why there's so many different forms of arginine out there. Arginine AKG, arginine nitrate, the new one that's called nitrosagine. Look, guys, the problem with arginine is first, it doesn't get absorbed well. Secondly, any of the arginine that does get absorbed by the intestines, well, guess what? There's an enzyme in the intestinal cells called arginase. Its job is to break down arginine. So any of the arginine that gets taken up by the intestinal cells, most of it gets broken down by arginase. So very little is actually making it into the blood system where it can get converted to nitric oxide. So how do you get arginine taken up better by the body? Like I said, there's all forms out there, all trying to get arginine taken up and utilized better by the body, and they all fail. But look, there's already a form of arginine out there that works perfectly well. It's called citrulline, guys. That's right, the amino acid citrulline. In the body, citrulline gets readily converted to arginine. And remember, in that moment of science we had, I told you arginine gets readily converted to nitric oxide. So guess what? Citrulline to arginine to nitric oxide. Citrulline is well absorbed by the body. That's why you can take pre-gym with pro-gym or any other food if you want to. Citrulline doesn't have the same type of competition for uptake in the intestines as arginine does. So far more citrulline gets absorbed in the intestines than arginine. And the arginase enzyme doesn't attack citrulline. So citrulline is basically arginine in sheep's clothing. It sneaks right in. Then once it gets into the intestinal cells, it gets into the blood system. And then citrulline goes boom, into arginine, boom, into nitric oxide. So it sneaks in and produces more nitric oxide than arginine does itself. In fact, there's been research done on this. And they show that when you take the same amount of arginine and the same amount of citrulline, blood values of both arginine and nitric oxide are higher when you take citrulline. That's right, citrulline raises arginine levels in the body better than arginine does itself. And that's one of the things that frustrates me with the supplement industry. You have all these manufacturers trying to make a better arginine. Arginine AKG, the new nitrosagene. Look guys, arginine doesn't work. And there's already a better one. It's called citrulline. Let's use citrulline. Now, you don't want to use any form of citrulline. You want to use citrulline malate, not L-citrulline. Here's why. Citrulline malate is actually used to treat things like chronic fatigue. Research shows that when subjects take citrulline malate, their body produces more ATP. Do you know how important ATP is? It's the energy currency of every cell in our body, the muscles. That means you're gonna have more energy for workouts. And guess what? It's also been found to enhance creatine phosphate regeneration. Remember, in between sets, doing a set and you're resting, you're waiting for creatine to gain more phosphate, to donate, to make ATP. 
the energy currency of the cell. Citrulline malate has been shown in clinical studies to produce more ATP and regenerate more creatine phosphate. It helps you recover better between sets, helps increase your endurance. That's why people are seeing such amazing results and love the energy, the non-stop energy with no crash of pregip. Citrulline malate is just one of the reasons why I use it. And it's due to the fact that that malic acid, that's what the citrulline, is a substrate for the Krebs cycle or the citric acid cycle, which is the main way the body makes ATP. So it's another way to produce energy. And like I said, the research shows citrulline malate is effective, both the lab and the gym. That's important. Now you want to make sure that the citrulline malate you're getting is at a two to one ratio of citrulline to the malic acid. That's because you want more citrulline than the malic acid, the malate part. At two to one with six grams citrulline malate in pre-gym, you're getting a four gram dose of citrulline with two grams of that malic acid. So, so it's a six gram citrulline malate dose and that's the perfect amount to boost both nitric oxide levels and directly increase energy levels. So, so that's my deal with arginine and why I prefer using citrulline, but not just any form of citrulline, the citrulline malate at a two to one ratio. Hope this video cleared up any confusion you had over arginine, citrulline, nitric oxide. And as always guys, stay gym army smart.